What is going on, crew? Welcome to the Pardon My Pancreas podcast. Today we're talking type 1 diabetes and why bamboo is revolutionary to your diabetes, what you can learn from it, and why bamboo root is so crucial for you to understand. And I got to warn you, today's episode, not going to go where you think it's going. So get ready for a twist ending. All right, without any further ado, let's get into our theme song. I've spent the last 10 years pushing the limits while identifying trends and patterns in my type 1 diabetes management. Follow along as I learn, apply, and share the fitness, nutrition, and lifestyle strategies that I've learned from diabetes experts around the world. The real question is, how can we live fearlessly with diabetes while maintaining stable blood sugars? This podcast is here to give you the answer. My name is Matt Vandevecht, head coach and co-founder of FTF Warrior, and welcome to Part of My Pancreas. All right, crew. So before we jump into the uh, the root of today's story, <laughs> if you will, uh, I want to tell you a quick story of my own. Where when I was first diagnosed with diabetes, I did not know what to expect. Uh, I thought that it was the end of all of the fun of my health, of my long plans. I had been told that I wasn't going to live a full life anymore. I was probably going to develop complications and just a ridiculous amount of scare tactics trying to be used to keep me in control of my blood sugars. And I get where they were coming from, but uh, unfortunately, that's not the best way to motivate a newly diagnosed individual. And uh, maybe you may have some kind of a similar story, maybe not. Maybe you had an excellent medical staff that was helping you through that process. But either way, one thing I do want to address today is the idea that we can flip our diabetes and go from uncontrolled to controlled overnight. And how there's this belief that if we do everything right, if we eat the right foods, if we exercise and, uh, you know, write down our blood sugars, that things are just going to turn out for the better. That's going to work. And that's not entirely true. Now, these healthy habits certainly play a key role with your blood sugars cooperating. It's going to be crucial for you long term. But ultimately, there is no overnight fix. There is no single tactic that you can do that will fix your blood sugars in the course of one night. Now, a couple of days, sure, a couple of weeks, better results. A couple of years, you're on the right track. But this is an ongoing routine that you're going to have to change. Diabetes itself is a marathon, not a sprint. All right now, what I want to share with you is actually a, a concept and it built in with a story that I was told from one of my mentors. See, I actually hire coaches and mentors for myself to help me improve in, in many areas of my life. And so uh, I do practice what I preach. Everyone, and I believe this wholeheartedly, everyone should have a coach for some level of their life if they want to improve. That could be your diabetes, right? That's why we have programs on these specific topics and create customized plans for a lot of you in this amazing audience that we have. But two, it could be a life coach. It could be a business coach. It could be um, a mindset coach. There's so many different benefits that you can pull from coaching. And because I have them, I was able to gain this piece of knowledge from them. See, I was having a hard time and uh, feeling kind of stuck. You know, I was putting a lot of the work in in one of the areas of my life, trying to see some improvements, but it felt like no matter what I was doing, that there was no progress being made. I mean, have you ever felt like that with your diabetes? You're writing your blood sugars down, you're looking for the patterns, you're trying to eat healthy, you eat the same dang foods every single day, and yet still there's different blood sugars Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Somehow it was stable one day, it was high the next, and then it was low the next, and you just can't figure it out. And it feels like you're putting the work in, but there's no return coming out. You ever feel like that before? I know I have. But what I want to share with you is that this example that my mentor shared with me has to do with bamboo. And they mentioned that with bamboo, initially you plant the seeds, you get it to grow, you fertilize the soil, you water it, and nothing happens. Like there's, there's no stem, there's no uh, growth, there's no movement in the soil, there's nothing. And you continually fertilize, water, make sure everything is set properly, the environment is ready and rich and, uh, and encouraging of growth, yet nothing happens. And this process continues for not days, not weeks, not months, but years of taking care of of this item, of this plant, before it even shows any semblance of growth. And it turns out that with bamboo specifically, it can take up to five years of watering, fertilizing, taking care of this plant, putting the effort in daily, weekly, monthly, for you to see any level of growth. 
And during those five years, the bamboo plant isn't sitting there doing nothing. Not at all. In fact, it's doing the complete opposite. It's putting in its own work. It is uh, expanding its root system, trying to tap into the water supply, bring in nutrients, getting ready, because when it does sprout, it skyrockets. <laughs> it takes off for the, the sun, and it really goes for it. It really does grow very quickly once it does grow, but it takes five years of seeing little to no yield before it makes its big triumphant entrance into this world. Five years later, after you put in all that that time, that effort into taking care of the plants, now it grows. And a lot of us with diabetes, we feel like we have this invisible disease, right? We take our injections or you know, we bolus with our pumps. Yes, we test our blood sugars and some of us wear diabetes devices, but for the most part, it feels invisible. Now, part of the reason for that is people don't usually see our symptoms. I mean, in most cases, the most they're going to see is us shaking when we're low or us getting mad when we're experiencing a high blood sugar, right? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I experienced some mood swings as well. But with our blood sugars, people don't see the, the results of that unless it gets to the point of a complication that is visible. But for the most part, it's a relatively invisible disease. And we take all of this on the inside whether it's the damage or also the mental toll, right? Physical and mental both being invisible. And the work that we put in to try to control our blood sugars, whether it works or not, feels like it's not really working as well as we want it to. Sometimes it can feel like we're, we're spinning our wheels in the mud, right? The gas pedal is down to the floor, truck tires are spinning, but you're not going anywhere because you're in the mud. And yet, like bamboo, years down the road, you may have a day where you realize that's how blood sugars work. That's why I went low after every single breakfast. I finally figured it out. But it might take you a longer time than you had first anticipated. And with diabetes, it's not fun because that process is not as simple as watering the ground and, and putting fertilizer in the soil like it is for bamboo. It is trial and error. It is dangerous situations. It is frustrating plans getting canceled or you having these debilitating low blood sugars. I've been there. I know what that's like. But I want you to see that with bamboo, there is no overnight success. You don't water it once and it shoots out of the ground. It takes years of work and effort and consistency for you to see that growth. Similarly with your diabetes, you can't expect to water your diabetes once and, hey, I was hydrated for a day. Why aren't my blood sugars fixed? <laughs> because it doesn't work that way, right? You have to consistently put in the effort. And I know it's not fun to hear, but I want you to see this analogy, this, uh, this connection between the two, that when you come into the world of diabetes, you're meant to get educated, right? You're supposed to learn a lot of new strategies. And a lot of us don't learn everything right off the bat. I know that that's a bummer too, right? You do have to take responsibility for it and learn it yourself because there's no one else that's living your life with diabetes. We're all unique. But in addition to that, we have to put in some additional work, some additional effort. This is one of the, the most interesting parts about diabetes, that there is no one size fits all. There's no specific take these pills and you're good to go because even us, our daily lives can shift based on our insulin needs or our insulin needs themselves can shift based on our lifestyle choices, right? It's this interesting concept where you do have to continue putting in the work, continue watering your plants if you expect to see the results. And those results may not come for a long time, right? It feels like you're doing nothing, like all this effort is for nothing. But I guarantee you that if you continue to put the work in, if you continue to show up for your diabetes, to search for what's new, to look for new opportunities to understand your blood sugars on a deeper level, whether that's reading a book, an article, watching a video, hiring a coach, doing something. If you consistently show up, you will see better results than if you did not, right? And just like the bamboo, there's gonna be a day where you find that aha moment, it's gonna catch you off guard and you're gonna go, oh my gosh, wait a second. I go low every time I run, but not every time I lift weights. That's interesting, right? And that's where you, you shoot out of the ground and you have these aha moments, these epiphanies, these realizations that, wait, my blood sugars are trying to give me clues. There's things that I can pick up on that I can learn from, right? But you won't have those opportunities if you're not showing up consistently and putting the work in. If you stop watering bamboo, it's not going to continue to grow its roots, to spread out, to get ready to shoot up. It will die off, right? You gotta show up daily. There is a consistent requirement of you to take care of your diabetes. And not to say that it isn't hard, 
not to say that I know that's not fun, right? It's not uh, enticing to go take care of your blood sugars every day, woohoo, right? But if you expect to, to see a level of control that you see me and my clients achieving, you do have to show up consistently. There is no overnight fix. And even if you were to be a good fit for us and work with us in these programs, it's still not an overnight fix. I wanna make sure that is absolutely clear. You know, you don't come in Monday and you're fixed by Tuesday. Nah, it's not how this works. You still have to show up and put the work in. The, the beauty of it though, is that instead of it taking those five years to figure it out and sprout and finally have your growth moment, we can expedite that process. And it, it turns into a matter of months, sometimes even weeks, right? And that's where it gets exciting because you can speed up the process, right? In fact, I wanna share this with you. This is the two sides of diabetes, what you may or may not know about myself. This screenshot came from my Clarity Report this week. Uh, and maybe I'll start doing this every week just to show you guys that it's consistently happening. This is the result of those years of effort, of putting in the time, effort, and blood and sweat, <laughs> you know, pricking my fingers, there's literal blood that goes into it, right? But that happened as a result of me putting in the work over the years. And just to give you an idea, this isn't just a one week kind of thing, right? Like here's another screenshot. This is one I took yesterday. Uh, this is my 90 day average, which means over the course of 90 days, I kept that same blood sugar, that same percentage almost consistently. And for it to be at that for an average, it means there were higher, there were lower, but for the average to be that high, I believe it says 94%, if I remember that correctly, 94% average over the course of 90 days. And for everybody else that missed it, I wanna make sure that I get that screenshot out for you or for those who are listening in. The time and range for last week was 96%. I had to check my phone because I, I can't see the screen, obviously. So 96% over the last week, and we got 94% over the last 90 days. That does not happen by accident. It does not happen overnight. It took years for me to figure that out. And now I help other people figure it out in months, if not weeks, right? But that still requires that you show up consistently, that you put in the work. So whether you work with us or not, you do have to commit to put the work in. You have to be okay with that. Because if you don't put the work in, there aren't going to be results for you to yield. You can't just toss bamboo seeds in the ground and hope that it's gonna turn into a bamboo someday, right? You have to water it, you have to fertilize it, make sure the soil is rich in nutrients and ready to go for when that moment happens, the sprouting growth season to the bamboo five years later. So ask yourself today, what am I doing today that is allowing me to consistently show up for my diabetes? That is uh, providing me an opportunity to grow with my opportunity, grow with my diabetes in general. And how am I consistently showing up? And if I'm not consistently showing up, where can I begin to consistently show up? There's no, it's too late for me conversation to be had. It's never too late. Even if you've experienced complications or you've, you've been told that it's too late, it's not. You can turn things around. It just starts with today being day one, right? And whether it's day one or day 50 or day 500, try to find new ways to build new momentum. Maybe there's a, an area in your diabetes management that needs some tender love and care. Maybe you have to revisit the pre -bolus. Maybe you do need to hydrate like the bamboo, right? <laughs> Maybe there's uh, room for going for a walk every morning, get some movement in your day, but look for those areas of growth and please, please, please understand that diabetes cannot be fixed overnight. Similarly to bamboo, not growing overnight. It takes time and it will feel invisible initially. It's going to feel like you're writing down your blood sugars for nothing. Why haven't I figured it out yet? This is so frustrating, but I promise you that if you show up consistently, it will start to build momentum and that you will grow your roots. The deeper your roots grow, the faster that growth moment can take off. And of course, if you have someone to guide you through that path, that growth moment is able to happen a lot faster. And uh, I wanted to share this episode with you as well, because I am a big fan of bamboo. Uh, actually, because of that lesson. So here's a picture of me with the bamboo on my desk. I'm kidding. I have actually had these bamboo for years, but uh, I just like bamboo. So that example that my mentor gave me is actually quite fun. But take away from today. What are you doing or what can you be doing to grow those root systems so that you can handle when the growth moment happens? So that when you do have the opportunity to learn from the epiphany, to, to learn from your mistakes, that you're ready to take that on and figure out your blood sugars, all right? And by the way, 
if you're looking for uh, someone to provide the water and the fertilizer and that nutrient dense soil for your bamboo roots to grow, metaphorically, obviously, if you're trying to figure out your diabetes, I got you covered. There's actually a training we put together that has all of the components that you need to start your growth within the root system. Right. I'm going to I'm going to cut it, cut the analogies for a second. If you're trying to figure out your blood sugars, if you're having difficulty with activity, spontaneity, meals, overnights, can't figure out your insulin, trying to lower your A1C, trying to improve your time and range. These are things that we can help with and we help people with routinely. This is where I specialize and our team is ready for you. But you got to start somewhere. You got to start by putting the work in. And that might look like you watching a few of our trainings or even getting on a call with us to build out your customized plan. There's only one place you can do that. If you haven't found it yet, and this is the time to go check it out, it's gonna be at diabetesinaction.com, all right? And as a reminder, if you are someone that's trying to lower your A1C, get your blood sugars figured out, improve your time and range, those things take time. You've probably figured that out, right? And similarly, as if you're trying to find a way to lower your A1C from a 10 to a 6.5 in a week, you know that's not possible, right? And so it's gonna feel like you're watering the plants and nothing's happening because of the time frame required to lower your A1C. It's gonna be a lot like these root systems, right? So if you're someone who is trying to improve and you're sick and tired of diabetes getting in the way, sick and tired of feeling like this invisible progress, like you're not gaining momentum, and maybe it is something like you're spinning your wheels in the mud, then it's time to reach out. It's time to consume some new strategies, learn what you can do for your diabetes, grow those roots out so you can finally <clears throat> grow and experience those blood sugars the way that I want you to with more stability and predictability. All right, so uh, real quick, jump over to diabetesinaction.com, grab that free training. If you like what you see, take notes, take action. And of course, you're more than welcome to sign up for a call. We'll craft that a custom plan with you. All right, have an awesome day. Thanks for showing up. And uh, I look forward to hearing these stories about you growing your roots and finally having those smooth and stable blood sugars. We'll catch you next time and keep up the fight.